A microscope is an optical instrument used to magnify very small objects, of which many are so small the human eye cannot normally observe them alone. Even a simple compound optical microscope can be capable of magnification by several hundred times using different objective lenses. Simple as they are, the compound optical microscope is no inexpensive toy, so always handle one at a time with utmost care, carrying it with two hands, one hand grasping the arm while the other hand supports the base. While lab bench space can come at a premium, set up the microscope in a clear area on the bench top, not on top of any notebooks, textbooks, boxes, papers, anything that might slide around or perhaps even fall off the bench top. Also, use only power outlets accessible on the bench top and try to keep the power cord tidy. While looking at blinding white light under magnification is an interesting experience, observation of some sort of specimen is what the microscope was actually made for. Observation of light is a job for physicists and the like. Specimens to be observed under the microscope will be on what's called a slide, a thin rectangular glass plate on which a very small amount of suspension or thin slice of tissue can be observed. Here, a previously prepared slide is used, but new slides can also be prepared. This is a topic, however, covered in another tutorial. In order to see anything through the scope, the light must be powered on and adjusted, as shown here, with a slider. Now we can begin to bring the slide into focus. To do this, be sure to start with the microscope at the lowest magnification, usually the smallest objective lens. Adjusting the focus is first achieved by turning the coarse adjustment, the outermost dial on the side of the microscope near the base. This, in turn, adjusts the height of the stand, bringing the slide closer to or farther from the lens. Once the slide is in focus, rotate the objective lenses to the next level of magnification. The slide will most likely no longer be in focus, however. Instead of using the coarse adjustment this time, we must now use the fine adjustment knob, which turns separately from the coarse adjustment dial. This is important, because now the lens is so close to the slide that using the coarse adjustment risks forcing the lens to break through it. Now, just like before, once the slide is in focus, we can move to the higher level of magnification. At this point, the process repeats itself for as many magnifications desired. In general, when using a microscope, it's good practice to look through both single and stereo eyepieces with both eyes open. It's not necessary, but it will reduce strain on the eyes, which can lead to something occasionally referred to as a microscope eye. When you're done, return to the lowest magnification before removing the slide from the stand. Putting the microscope away is just the reverse of setting it up. Remember to always handle the scope with care and carry it with two hands, one around the arm and the other underneath the base. If the slide used was previously prepared, then it is probably supposed to be kept, not thrown away, and it should be returned to the place that it came from. If the slide is not to be kept, then it can safely be disposed of in the biohazard sharps disposal for glass and other sharp hazardous type objects located on all the lab benches. As always, be sure to tidy up the workbench, not leaving anything behind. And such concludes this tutorial, A Biologist's Guide to the Compound Optical Microscope. Thank you, and good night.